Today I'm going to be sharing with you some things that have really made me happy. I haven't done a favorites video. I think February 25th was the last one. So I have, I don't have very many, but the ones I have, I really like a lot. And then I want to announce the three winners of my last $100 e-gift card giveaway. Of course, there's always going to be some chit chat. I'm going to give a, hopefully a temporary channel update. And if we know something about, I don't know anything new right now with Jim, we should know soon. I will put it at the end of this video or I will type it in the top message. So I want to thank you all. I just want to thank you all for your prayers and support. Before I get going, you are wonderful and I appreciate you. I want to talk about the solar eclipse. We had three minutes and 53 seconds of totality. Where I live, I live in Southern Illinois and I'm like right in that X spot where we got the 2017 solar eclipse and the one in 2024. This was twice as long and I tell you, I was impressed. My oldest grandson called me and he asked if I was gonna be outside watching and I said, you bet I am. So he came over and we watched it together. It was just so special. It just makes you realize so much. You know, we are just a little tiny, tiny part of this great big world. And uh, we just keep need to keep on doing the best we can do. Well, you know I'm a copycat. <laughs> I get some of my best ideas from, well, I've got one idea in here that came from a channel and a friend of mine. And two of them came from a friend of mine that are viewers on here. So I'm going to talk about the first one because it really did. I love it. I was watching Elf the, from the channel, Elle is for Living. I've watched Elle since before I had a channel and she's a good friend of mine. She showed this picture of her, she and her sister and mentioned a coat. And I was gonna put the footage of Elle doing this, but I couldn't figure it out. I took some screenshots. Then she showed the part with the hand. And I love the way that you could either cover the hand or not because that really does make a difference with cold going up your sleeve. Then she showed the hood. And I usually don't like hoods, but I liked so many things about this coat. As soon as I was done, I clicked on her link and I ordered it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pictures in here. And these pictures are from Amazon, but you can buy this from the Amazon website or the Colombian website. My daughter saw mine and she liked it so much she she got one and she got it in the beetroot and here I'll put the pictures from the front. This is what it looks like from the front. And if you notice on the bottom, something I love about it, it it zips up from the bottom. So if you're in a car, driving in a car, you don't you can unzip that part of the way up. And when you get out, you can zip it down. I, oh, I like that so much. And then I especially like the way the hood, when you put it up, it, it protected a lot of your neck from the wind. And it does get really cold here in the winter and I haven't gotten to wear it yet. But the good part was this retails for $180 and I bought mine for 90 and Gretchen's was 90 and now it's $81. And not all sizes are available, but I will put the links below to both the Amazon website and the Columbia website. But I'm gonna show you the color that I got. Elle's color was camel brown, I believe. Gretchen's was beetroot, and mine is dark nocturnal. And since mine's so dark, there's so many features I won't be able to show you, but I wanna show you a couple. I'm not sure if I said Instead of an extra large, I got a extra, extra large. And they do have plus sizes also. I saw that on the website. But it has a lining, very lightweight, reflective lining that's supposed to keep you warm. And anything I've ever had from Columbia has, has been high quality. The, it has an inside zipper pocket right inside the inside like men's, and I like that. Really nice pockets being able to unzip it from the bottom. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I haven't gotten to wear it, but in our area, I've had to pull sweaters out in May. So, 
You never know, but it's lightweight, and, and it's my favorite thing I've gotten in a long time as far as clothing or coats, and this does not bother me at all. The hood is so lightweight, and that's just kind of like a suede fur, and it's machine washable and dryable. I think you can dry it too. I'm not sure, but I probably will wash it, see what it looks like, and maybe bounce it for a little while. But that's the first thing that I've just really been thrilled about. I know I've mentioned this a couple of times later, but I've got to tell you a story. The only thing I did not like or do not like about my prequel Glenzer, I do have two of them, is when I ordered it, it was, I mean, it's, it was a great price. I, I thought so. It was, it's $18 for 13 and a half ounces, but the shipping and handling was $7.50. So I went ahead and got two of them, so there wasn't any shipping and handling. So in my brain, this cost like $11 because I wanted wanted it and I never ever thought I would find a cleanser that I liked as much as Purity Made Simple. When my daughter was over, I went to my cabinet and in my cabinet, I have the 32 ounce Purity Made Simple and it retails for $62. And uh, then I have a little one that I pu would pour it into so I gave that to Gretchen because I, I don't want to use anything else. And believe me, I've tried everything and I've never been sponsored. I bought this myself. I don't have a discount code. I can leave a link, but this is a new skincare line from a dermatologist. And I absolutely love my Glenzer because it's half glycerin. I did place another order for something else and I like it a lot. The second item, of course, I had to order two because I didn't want to pay shipping and handling of $7.50. I ordered the hand wrap. I'm really kind of funny about hand creams. I'm not really big on them. I like the L'Occitane. I think that it's a really nice hand cream. The L'Occitane, the smell is getting too strong. This is water resistant and it's supposed to be a hand shielding lotion and how I apply it. My, the, the backs of my hands are never dry. I just put that much on my back of my hand and I'll just take my other hand and I just rub them together and it really makes my hands feel good. They haven't been dry at all and uh, I think this will be probably the last hand brand of hand cream I will buy. I don't know if you've been able to hear the weed eating and the lawn mowing that's going on. It's, it's just if nobody does it the same day. So well, one of my viewers and friends on here, his name is Mary Nestor. And because of Jen's inability to, to, it's hard for him to get up and down and he has fallen and, you know, we just have had some issues. She recommended this lift assist and this is what it looks like. And I'm going to put a link directly to it because they show a video on how it works and it does work with Jim. You, it's, it's, you have to use really good body mechanics. It's you taking, you're, it's me taking a step back and helping Jim get up. And I think this, it's, I got this on HSN and I think it was like $19 for the shipping and handling. And it has come in handy and it's just a lift assist. But thank you, Mary, it is, it has been very helpful. Another friend and viewer of mine, her name is Janet, but I think her it, her title on her notes are A Rose is a Rose. She told me about the kind zero bars. There's uh, zero added sugar. The, it'll t it tells you on the front, it, like one gram of sugar, four net carbs, and five grams of protein. Well, I love the built bars and but and and I like my built bars smooth. I don't want anything in my built bars. But I do miss crunch and chewy. It does the trick. It it's delicious. This is the kind bar and this is the built bar. This weighs 1.2 ounces and this is 1.4 ounces. Now the built bar has a lot more protein in it. It has 17 grams of protein to the five. But you know, just if you're hungry for something different, it was excellent. And I I figured up how much these were at the price that I got them for. I always, when I order Built Bars, I always order two. And I, I ordered from the company. I haven't tried them on Amazon yet. 
If any of you all have ordered them on Amazon, will you tell me if they're fresh? <laughs> I just, I, I don't want to order a box and them not be fresh. But I ordered two boxes, and this ended up costing $2.24 a bar, and this is $2.36 a bar. But for me, that is that is fine. You know, I do not buy any drinks out whatsoever. Even when Jim and I were going out to eat a lot, I always get water. I never buy coffee out. So, you know, there's everybody spends their money differently. And I just, a long time ago, and Jim, did, he, he thinks this is horrible that I did, that. not horrible, but one time when my children were small, you know, and I raised them alone, and money, it was really, literally, <laughs> paycheck to paycheck. I mean, it was, I know a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, they had pizza at the time. This is how long ago it was. It was $6 for a large pizza. So we would we were having pizza, and I got my bill, and I, I it's the first time I really noticed how much drinks were, and it seemed like they were there. It was like three dollars for the drinks, and I said to both of the kids, I said, "Would you rather go out and have pizza more often, and drink water?" <laughs> That's what Jim thinks is horrible that I even said that, or would you like to go out less and we'll, we can get a pitcher of Coke? It's, it's up to you. Well, they 100% wanted to have pizza more often and water. Well, if you went usually went twice a month for pizza, if you aren't getting another drink, you could almost go three times a month. But anyway, I may cut that one out. But he goes, I don't know how you did that to your kids. Pizza and Coke just go together. Well, I had someone ask me, and I've had people ask me this before, when I say I examine my face in a in a 15 times magnification mirror, I want to let you know what I look for. But first of all, this mirror I bought in May of 2007. The month before Jim and I got married, my girlfriend, Mary Ann, we have been best friends since fifth grade, uh, still are. Uh, my friend Pat, who's departed, and... Our friend Kathy, we all went to Santa Fe, New Mexico. So the three of us, Kathy, Pat, and I, flew from Southern Illinois to Santa Fe, New Mexico to meet Mary Ann. She lives in Midland, Texas. They had a place in Santa Fe. And she got this out of her suitcase, and I was just mesmerized by it. And this is the same one that I've had. This is how big it is. And, and I'm going to put a photo in just so you can see it. It has a light, but I don't really ever need the light. I just put this to my face, and you can remove this if you want to. It, I don't see any reason to, but you could. And I just look at my skin. There's a light in here. That's where the light is. Right in here. And you, I've changed it once in 17 years, and I have an extra one, of course, if it ever would go out. But I just look at my skin. I look at, at see the texture. I can check on certain wrinkles. That's how I know if something is helping or not. I can see the depth. I have to get this close to it if I really want to see what's going on. But you know, you have to sitting on your on your counter. This moves. You know, this adjusts, and it's perfect to tweeze your eyebrows. Or if you have something in your eye or get a contact stuck. You know, I could never put on makeup with it, but I can check and see if I'm lines in my lips, the depth of wrinkles, and just to see if there's like a dry spot coming, you know, it's just, I'm just assessing my skin, just like as a nurse, you assess someone's skin turgor, you assess the hydration, and that's just what I do. I look at it, and I can see if my skin's starting to look worse, or if it's starting to look better. But I love my Floxite 15 times magnification mirror. I started my channel in May of 2014. I consistently uploaded two videos a week and sometimes three until February of 2019. So just about five full straight years, I did two or three videos a week. So in February of 2019, I started filming one video a week and it was always on a Sunday. That's my day is Sunday morning it to upload a video. And I did that until January of 2021. 
and my best friend from birth, her name is Pat, she died. And it really did affect me. And I just started doing every other week. My goal is to go back to doing weekly, but for a while, I'm gonna uh, commit to doing one video a month. And what it's gonna be, you hear the mowing going on? Because it's important for me and always has, has been to do what I say I'm gonna do. So I know, I'm pro almost positive I can upload one video a month and it's gonna be the last Sunday of the month. And so the next video after this will be May 26th. I think that's the Sunday before Memorial Day. If I have the opportunity to upload more, I will, but I, I'm not gonna commit to doing it because I really don't know what's going on. And if you miss me, just go back and watch my old videos. And that does help YouTubers. It keep the views keep your channel in the algorithm. If that, it just, it just helps your channel get views. And that's, I don't care about how many subscribers I have. I just want to get, to share my information with as many people that are interested in the simple things I have to say. You know, I mean, it's not rocket science what I talk about, and I don't really hype up very many things. I just like to share with you the things that have really worked for me, and I learn from you, and I learn from my other friends on YouTube. So now I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway, and the word was kind was the word that I wanted you to use in your comments. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read them and give you the order that they popped up in Random Comment Picker. The first winner is Barbara Luce. Congratulations, Barbara. The next winner is Joyful Danae. Congratulations, Danae. And the last winner is Nell Cooper. Make sure you leave a comment below and I will get back to you and tell you how to get in touch with me. I have an email address that is just for giveaways and, and it is all good with God on my side and all the support from my friends and viewers and relatives. Uh, it is. And I will see you in my next video, which will be May 26th, if not sooner. And uh, you all take care. It that and that's how if you get a it did not it it was you couldn't see anything. This is the color my daughter like before from and I don't I don't bathe not a scent at all. Uh, I haven't done a. a, a <laughs>